is also something in pollen field. Rarity was at her boutique working on some new designs from an upcoming fashion show we made happen. She has been working on these new designs of dresses, skirts, and everything that for this fashion show. She actually had been working on these new designs for at least about two weeks. She was very much, very much excited since some of her earlier designs that she presented in a, in a fashion show in Cantalot about a month earlier was a good success. And she wanted to continue to show and represent her boutique that's good quality of designs, new clothing, and she wanted to keep her reputation as a good fashion designer. Even after some time before then, she was only well, well known as a fashion designer within Pulneville. But now she has her own boutique in both Maidhaden and in Cantonot. She had actually had, had gained the well-known famous as one of the best new generation of fashion designers. Even a close friend of her, Fancy Pants, who actually owns one of the most bigger co cooperations companies in Cantalot that reproduce some of the designs from other fashion designers, actually made a contract with her that he is would sell some of her designs in his stores around in Equestria. And to her, that was a, a very much good opportunity. Ever since then, she had always sent some of her, her designs to Fancy Pants before she made before making them. She always asked him for his opinion about if this if he had any ideas or if he had any plans or something like that. Or or if he had any some sort of criticizes or comments or he wants to have changed all of the designs that some of the that he, he always she always responds back to him because she is always very much expecting some of his comments so that to expecting some of the designs that would fit some of some of his clients. But today she was actually having some help from her own sister, Sweetie Belle. Sweetie Belle actually had also learned a lot more of fashions. Even though that Sweetie Belle was not much in for fashion like her older sister, but she didn't mind to help her sister when, when it requires. But even though the fashion show wasn't instant to take place with the next with the next two weeks. So she had at least enough time to work on the designs and make the final preparations for that and even some of the new, well, complete some of the new designs and everything. And after that, they have worked on these new designs and even some, make some changes and schematics and something like that. After about a couple of hours, Rarity thought, believed that she was now completed. She thanked her sister for her help and Around around noon, Rarity decided to take a break. So she put up a sign at her boutique that she would be back with the next within a half hour because she was getting hungry. And she was actually planning to have some lunch with her friend Fluttershy nearby. So Rarity went to this restaurant when she saw that Fluttershy was already waiting for her. She explained the apologize if she was late or anything, but Fratisha said that she wasn't late. She was just in time. Both actually ordered a salad and just small talked. Even though Fratisha was not even much a fashion designer herself, but she was always interested to hear more about Rarity's designs and like that. But it was one thing that Rarity didn't have even thought of much to, to even talk about. Ever since Discord and Fluttershy have been dating for about a year. When Fluttershy came out to her friends that she and Discord have been dating for at least a couple of weeks before then it admitted it. Her friends were like really stunned. Unlike Rarity. She was like, darling, are you really dating Discord? And Fluttershy watched a lot and said yes, that she did. But she said that she was really happy to see her friend 
have found her special song pony or special song creature, as as some pony would say that. But even though some of her friends already have found some pony, Rarity herself had no pony to be with. Twilight was with Flash, Rainbow were with Soren, Applejack was with Caramel, and Pinky with She's Sandwich. And she was the only one of her friends who didn't have any special sun pony. But to her, she didn't have any, any, any such time for spend on dating. But even though her seeing her summer close friends have a special sun pony, a boyfriend or fiance or even a husband, it makes her hurt. And even especially about only a couple of months earlier when Spike actually admitted his feelings toward her. But she told him that she only liked him as like a, a younger brother and nothing more. Even though Spike himself, even Spike himself took that very, very hard. But over time, he actually got used to it. And he even will accept it rarity as like a big sister. But even though her friends that tried to convince her, maybe tried to see that, tried to find time some time on dating. But she said that she's always been busy with her new at her work and that especially now with this upcoming fashion show with Maid Adam, it would only take her a lot more. Because Fancy Pants actually had asked her if she would be taking part of this fashion show and she said yes. She has actually applied for do so and she won't actually want to do represent some new design this year as well. But she had and didn't have any idea of what to do or at least what to be represent as new designs. But after a while she did come up with some good designs and now she was ready. But all that she needed now was to make this new clothing and Haddon's later to transport it to Maid Haddon's boutique that Coco Cupamel was actually taking care of. She had only informed Coco Pumel to have some of the new designs stored there until this fashion show, and Coco actually accepted that she will look after the new designs. Even though that Rarity knew that there will always be a good op uh, um, opponents in this new fashion shows, because even though she is brand new within this fashion show as a uh, within it, the whole kingdom itself, that she had to compete against some others like Suri Polomare, Fancy Pants, and uh, um, some more, among others that has been well known within the fashion industry. Even though that the others of the fashion designers had admit in an interview that Rarity is a rising star within the fashion industry. Even though someone had mentioned that she, even though she is new within the industry itself, I mean, as a well-known, they actually didn't saw anything negative about her. They only saw that she is a rising star and she has a lot of potential. And when, when Rarity had been reading those comments or interviews in a newspaper or had hearing those comments from other ponies who heard about them, she is always saying that that's as a good positive. And having such positive reviews from her own designs from across Equestria makes her reputation as a good thing. But after her time with Fluttershy at the restaurant, she decided to just walk around in town for a little bit before going back to the, her boutique. But even though that she was having just one thing on her mind was the fashion show. But even if it was on another second thought on her mind was the dating. She really had to really decide maybe that's maybe it's time to maybe try to be dating some pony. But right now she decided to put dating at least to her side until its fast show was over. So after that she went back to boutique to complete some of the new designs that she has been working on. And after about two weeks later, she traveled to Maid Haddon to take part of this fashion show. Just before the show started, she spent some time with Coco Pomel and Fancy Pants. They were to small talk and 
even though that Rarity had very strong, good, some strong um, expectations that her dresses will be a good success. But she always has been telling herself, maybe that, even though that she has new designs, there's always a risk that she may not even win. But Fancy Pants has always told her, even if she didn't win this year's fat show, he was always will take her designs and sell them in his company and to other clients, which she always appreciated. But this year, she did actually win. She was not expecting it all, but this one the customer, some of the judges actually saw her a rising star as a witness fashion industry. Rarity felt so overjoyed having her such great deal. She made another deal with Fancy Pants who'd been selling her designs in his stores across Equestria. But when she came back to Ponyville, now she would have a lot of things that she can do on her own. She can still continue work at her boutique, but now the fashion show was over, there was now the thing that she wanted to do. And that was dating. Now she was ready to try at least, after all. They had been about maybe as a year or two years since she wore on an, as, as an actual date. But she wasn't really much, uh, didn't know exactly what to do. But she actually heard about this news called Speed Dating Service. She knew about this has been uh, quite popular in Maidhaddon, Cantalot, Trottingham and many other places. And she did actually learn they had opened the service in Ponyville. She actually has seen how they work, so she knew that. So one day, after about a couple of days after she had returned after the fashion show, she went to this location and signed up. She were matched with a couple of mere salians, but but none of them didn't seem any of her interest or anything that she felt any connection to until near the end. She was actually matched with a stallion, a pegasi by the name Star Hunter, a local stallion, in fact. They knew each other quite well, and they actually had a lot of things to talk common, turns out. Like, they liked the type of same food, they liked the same, some, pretty much they had the same spare time, what they liked to do with their friends, or just relax. Even though that he liked Daring Do book series, and even though even Rat herself were more to like fashion mystery novels, something like that, or romance novels, but she did actually read Daring Do herself too a couple of times. But after that, they both left this service. They actually went to the local diner nearby to get something to some to get something to eat. After all, it was still early in the afternoon. They would just continue the small talk and just having a good time. But after that, they just left. And even though Rarity herself probably felt herself that, she, she said to herself, maybe the speed dating wasn't much for my my cup of tea to do. So only about a day later, when she ran into Twilight and Flash, they actually, Twilight asked her, how this speed dating went, since she was been telling her friends that she was going to try it, but she said that she felt a little bit disappointed that it, she didn't felt any in a connection. But Twala said, "Love always works in a mysterious way, even despite, and even though that she may not find the, her true love right then, but it, she will eventually." Even though that Rarity knew that Twilight had a point, but she wasn't going to rush into a relationship at some point right then. But only the same day, she actually ran into Star Hunter at the market. It turns out Rarity was there to buy some food for her parents after her mom asked her. But they actually ran into each other and they had actually a normal conversation but before she was about to leave, he actually asked her if she wanted maybe to go out with him. He had actually considered to ask her if she maybe wanted to go out with him on a date. But he had stood if she wasn't interested. But she said, why not? 
at least one date for, wouldn't hurt. So they did went on this date the next day. They went actually to a restaurant in the evening. They actually had an amazing time though. Since they had a lot of things they had in common, so Starhunter told her some jokes and made her laugh, and she felt there were some sort of connection between them, but she wasn't really much just like ask him to be her boyfriend right away, because even though they knew each other quite well, but she wanted to get to know him a little bit better, maybe try to set a second, maybe a third date. She had at least one rule. If this is gonna be that, if this is gonna be official, she will have to at least be dating a stallion for me at least a minimum of two weeks, just to be seeing if this actually can work for a long term. And after that, only about about a week later, he actually had asked her out again, and they went to the movies, and the same thing had repeated. So for the next three weeks, they went on several dates, either to the movies or romantic dinner, or even went to the park for a picnic. But after about three weeks, she felt that this might be at some point that she could spend more time with. So she decided to be trying at least. So after about three weeks, they made it official. Her friends, her family, they were actually really happy to see her being happy with some point. But then, something did happen. After about a couple of weeks of been dating, she received a message from Coco Pumel that she needed some extra help at this boutique there. Some of the, some of the workers there had been sick, and she couldn't even find any, any replacement for in a such short time, so she had asked Rarity if it was possible for her to come to Manhattan to help her. And Rarity didn't mind that. So she told Star Hunter that she will be away from Ponyville for about two weeks or so, if there's is as a as a worst case scenario. But if a best case, maybe a little bit maybe as a week. Star Hunter said that he will wait for her and that he knows that she will be back. But during that time though, Star Hunter actually spent some time with some other friends like Bray Big Macintosh, and even even Discord from all. They actually had asked him what he felt for Rarity if if there were something any serious between them or if this was used temporarily. But he actually admitted he loved her more than anything. To her, to him. She is the most beautiful mare that has ever been around. He had hoped that maybe one day that they could eventually end up getting married. But he told them not to tell her or any other pointers about this. Because he didn't want to have this ruin any potential relationship for long term. Both agreed. But something about that though. In his mind and his heart telling him. He had found his true soulmate. And after about a week or so, Rarity came back to Ponyville, and he must actually have to see her. And in fact, he did greet her at the train station. After that, he sent that she sent him a letter telling him that she will be back on that certain date, and he waited her at this at the train station. They went to this cafe for a small talk, and he did ask her how her his her time were in Manhattan. What she been doing, how this critique has been going on so far. She actually very much um, in appreciated that he really wanted to know more about what has been going on and that he actually had even been to her critique to help her. Sometimes even acting as a model for some male des dresses designs. Even at first, she didn't even expect that he would even want to offer to be as a model for a male designs or clothing. But in fact, he didn't mind. After all, it turns out he had some couple of friends who lived in Manhattan, Trollingham, that were actually probably would have accepted some of the designs for 
their friends, family, and they actually saw that he was happy with Rarity. Even though that it happened, that Star Hunter don't, sometimes didn't even see her for days. Because sometimes she had to work all night and day at her boutique at some new design she had been working on, or even go to the School of Friendship as a teacher. And he understood that all. After all, he worked at the local weather team to control the weather about in Ponoville local. So that does not match as up any problem there. But even though his relationship with Rarity only grew stronger for each single day. But then one bad thing happened. That same winter, after they had been together for at least a couple of months, a bad case of flu swept through the entire kingdom. High yield cases of this flu were spreading so far, including in Imponivion. The cases were so much, and they almost overwhelming the local hospital. Even at first, Rarity felt that she may not even be sick at all, but eventually, she did catch, catch the, this flu herself, but at first, she actually managed to handle it, and she thought maybe it's going to just pass soon, but in fact, it didn't. It only got worse and worse, and one day, or at least one morning, when Sweetie Belle found her sister in her bed, so bad condition of others. Even Rarity herself, she didn't even respond to anything at all, so she was taken to the hospital. It turns out she was among the few who had this very poor severe case of this flu. But to make this thing a lot more worse, the hospital didn't even have any more of the vaccine to cure it. They actually had sent for help for a request for, from Trottingham to send some more supplies. But they were learned that the train that was going to send this, vac this another supply of the vaccine had to be delayed because of this snowstorm approaching between Trollingham and Ponyville. And the train had been snowing so much, the tracks were so deep under the bleed. There was at least four feet of snow in the tracks, and the wind was so, so strong, and that the hospital could not even receive the case of the supplies in time. And it turns out that Rarity's condition was was only getting worse and worse per day, for, per hour. And it turned out, if Rarity didn't even get this vaccine shortly, or within the next 48 hours, she may not even survive. And hearing this, Star Hunter was devastated. Learning that he's only learned, been told that his girlfriend was in the hospital, and now also that she may have been in such severe condition that she may not even survive. And the only other supplies of the vaccine were in Trottingham. But due to the fact that a strong storm in the area was preventing from the train to even arrive to Ponyville with the supplies of the vaccine that they really the desperate needed. And even though that he had told, why don't they send some pony flying or maybe tracking to this Trottingham but on hoops? But the doctor said there is, that would be a suicide, suicide mission, even though they're doing so. And even despite this, not even the well, well experienced flyer would not even be able to fly for this part of strong storm winds. But they told him. They will make, try to make her condition to, to look after her as best that they can. But that was not good enough. Star Hunter could not see his own girlfriend in the hospital bed in such condition. In fact, she had been unconscious ever since she arrived at the hospital. She had even woken up ever in a single moment. She told himself, he told himself, I will get go. I will go to Trottingham 
get this vaccine if it means if I had to be in it danger myself. Even though that he probably, if it had told any pony about this idea, they would probably stop it right, in, right away. So, he told, uh, whispered to Rarity that same evening before he left. I will get the vaccine for you. Don't worry. You will get it. So that same evening after he left, left the hospital, he took off right towards the direction where Trottingham was located. And even though the wind in the area of Ponyville was just normal, but as he's getting closer to the area of the bird, maybe a, a, at least about 10 miles away from it, the wind was so too strong. Even though that Star Hunter was a well-experienced flyer in strong winds, but this probably were thrown on the absolute two words for even him to fly in. But he didn't care. He fly faster and faster through the strong winds, even though it was almost like the winds were pushing down to ground several times. But he did. He pulled it out. He flew through the storm, and by the morning, he arrived to Trottingham by seeing the lights into the storm when he arrived at the hospital. Doctors there saw him and wonders what they, they can help him with. He explained that he has been coming from that he has been flying from Trotting from Ponyville to get this vaccine supplies. They were stunned that he actually told them he had been flying through this terrible store in order to get this vaccine. They told him that it is reckless to doing so. It only jeopardizes his own life. But he said, I don't care as long as my girlfriend been able to be safe. I need to supply the vaccine quickly. Even though that the supplies were not that, there was a lot of it. But since there was only a few ponies in Ponyville that were having this, were almost the same bad condition as rarity. Even though he played and begged the doctors to give him the vaccine to help. At first they denied him any of it. But eventually he managed to convince them to do so because he wouldn't even leave until he killed some of it. So they managed to give him a bag with some, a saddle bag with some of the vaccine. But they told him to at least wait a little later in the afternoon. Probably then the storm may have passed. But he didn't say anything else. After he got the vaccine, he just left the hospital and took off. He flew the same way back, even through the strong winds and the storm. The storm was still strong as earlier that morning. Even though he was tired, he hadn't even got any rest or any sleep for almost 24, almost like 12 to 18 hours. But despite that, he didn't stop for a moment. He flew past the wind, as if the wind almost pushing him, and he was so exhausted, but he kept pushing. And when he almost was about to fall asleep of exhaustion, he saw lights. He had been flying the whole afternoon, and he managed to arrive to Ponyville at almost in the evening. He saw lights in the distance, and realized was Ponyville, and he said to himself, Rarity, please, hold on, I'm almost there. And he flew so fast as, as he could, he, he, pushed to, he pushed him to the last energy that he had, and just at the moment that he felt so tired, he saw the hospital, and just landed on the ground, opened the door, walked in, to receptionist when he saw nurse red heart and told her here the vaccine and after that he gave her that he just collapsed on the floor unconscious she immediately called for another nurse and to take him to the, another room he had pushed his limit too much he was so exhausted but at least he got in time because the, the next morning, the nurse Red Heart woke him up, 
and he asked for what happened. She explained that he had been flying to and back to from back and forwards from Trottingham with the vaccine, and then he remembers Rarity. He asked about her. The red, red, nurse Red Heart explained she was fine. The vaccine has kicked in, and she will be safe. She was had to be in staying in the hospital for at least more couple more days just in case. But she, he asked if he could see her. He said that she said that he, he would be allowed to see her within a couple of days, in a couple of hours. And then he fell back to sleep because, despite have been sleeping for only a few hours after he arrived, he was still so tired. No, not that it was a joke though, because when his friends, especially Rarity's friends, was was told what he did, they told him he was crazy. But Rarity, when she was told after she woke up, she said the same thing that he was crazy. But was brave. Even Spike admitted that Star Hunter was a brave boyfriend who did anything to do that. And after a couple of days, Rarity was allowed to leave the hospital fully cured and healed from this this flu. And even though she was just happy, that despite having her boyfriend almost risking his own life in order to save hers, but he said, I would have done the same thing over and over, no matter what, because I love you, Rarity. And their relationship remained stronger after that. And even after two years, he actually proposed to Rarity and she said yes. They actually decided to have a, a, a small wedding with some close friends and family still arriving. Rarity had actually had asked Fluttershy to be her bridesmaid and Star Hunter had asked Spike to be his best man. Even after all of this, though, his relationship with Rarity just remained strong. He was happy. And even afterwards, on the, at a party that which Pinky had arranged, both families and friends could see how happy Rarity and Star Hunter were together. To them, it was the most amazing time that they've ever been. They even went to a tropical island for a resort for the honeymoon for about a week. There they had this amazing relaxing time, swimming in the ocean, doing some sightseeing, and even have watching the sunset together. And just barely three years later, both Rarity and Star Hunter announced they were expecting a baby girl over the next couple of months. Both families and friends were like, no way! Aren't you kidding me? They were like, no, we were exact, actually expecting a baby over the next couple of months. And they were so excited. Even especially Star Hunter, who was actually was looking forward to be a father. And then the day came when the daughter was born. They named the daughter Crystal Sapphire Knight. As a filly. She was very outgoing, and she had no problem to make new friends, and especially, she even loved to spend time with her parents, especially practice magic with her mom and with her godmother, Twilight. While growing up, though, she actually loved to practice magic with both her mom and her godmother, Twilight. But during that, she actually had experienced had been sparked been interest in teaching. Even when she had been asked what her child what she what her dream were, she actually admitted to her parents that she wished that she could be a teacher. And in fact, they actually encouraged her to continue the dream. And when she was older, she actually went to a teaching school in Manhattan. And after a while, after she completed her train, her teachings there, and after she finished it, she decided to remain in Manhattan as a teacher. She actually started working as an elementary teacher 
and she loved it. Even the practice of the teaching of her students loved it. She made a lot more love, a lot more friends even there. But eventually, she did run into a stallion, a unicorn who works as a doctor himself. They actually got married after they'd been dating for about five years, and they even had two daughters and one son together. Ever since Rarity and Star Hunter became together all those years ago, Rarity herself actually felt if she hadn't even had even considered to go to this speed dating service back home, she may not have even ran into Star Hunter and they may not have even spent some time and he probably would even had asked her out. If that had happened, she may not have even found her true love at all. She actually really much feels happy that she and Star Hunter eventually did end up getting married and have a family together. Even Star Hunter he he actually loves her so much and especially especially what he did for her and rarity even despite all those years ago she still felt very much appreciated that he did in order to save her from not from losing her life in that flu and that what she said to him was an act of true love and he told, he told her right afterwards, you know, I would have done it over and over. I would have done anything to save you because you're my love, my soulmate, my true angel. Even those words made her really much feeling grateful to have a such good stallion in her life. Otherwise, if she had even been to the service that she went to see, to see in the first place, none of this had even happened. For that, my for that, she will always be grateful. And this is how Rarity and Star Hunter found a true love, got a family together. The end.